What is up, everybody? Welcome back to God of War Ragnarok, episode number 49. Let's get the show on the road. We've got a lot to see over here. <laughs> I don't think this is happening. We'll try it. I don't think it's going to happen. Try it. But also, like, I don't know if you all see this over here. I do. I see it. We're going for it. See you. Come here, pups. Oh, there's another one right over here. Never mind, pups. Could I be riding them? Probably. Am I at the moment? No. What is this? Me and this raven. Are about to have. <laughs> I wonder if we shouldn't check back on the raven tree. Probably, but like a first. Statue of my brother. How quaint. That's odd. The runes are dark. What purpose does all this serve other than a testament to my brother's vanity? Difficult to say without an inscription. But it looks like the elves built this place together, light and dark. Which means this would have been their first act of cooperation in generations. A far cry from lasting peace, but perhaps it served as a monument. One that symbolizes the potential for peace. Have uh, thing. Uh, I'm not going to be using this thing apparently right now, but... This is the one I have to cut through, right? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's obviously a puzzle. Can you not hop down there, really? Oh, you don't have to hop down there. My bad. Gotta have something to do with these, right? It's got to. Take this one with me. Um. What? Maybe I'll be able to see that from somewhere else? I did not see this little ramp here previously, though. This statue may have survived Freya's absence, but a truce clearly did not. Monuments are useless to those who ignore their message. He didn't create a truce through diplomacy alone. His godhood, his very presence is what healed this land and allowed peace to take root. But once he left, he had to have known what would happen. Well, he had good reason to leave. Some jackass convinced his sister to marry a madman. Fair. What if I need this one? I can run around and stick this one up here. And then I gotta figure out how to cut that down. You're right. Normally we'd have to provide our own. Perhaps slotting a crystal on the opposite side could shed some light on this mystery. Question becomes, how do I break this? I don't think I can hop across. Any idea? Because, I mean, while you would think Kratos would be able to hop across with that thing, I don't think he just can. Wait a minute. 
I see. If I go over here now. Beautiful, okay. Now I should be able to do it. Why restore this one? It was given for some time. Perhaps now it can serve as a reminder. Aye. Nothing reminds people of their history like chiseled, well-lit marble. Group. Let's go stick this where it's supposed to go real quick and be happy to have done it. And maybe we can figure out what the heck these are. That would be nice. I don't like mysteries. I like knowing. Inscription now as well. Give me my light from the crystals. It is in the sand now. Would you look at that? Prayer's gift endures after all. Or should I say, his presence? Summons fireflies? Do it. Summon fireflies, Freya. And you know what? Upgrade it, Freya. Upgrade it. You are not funny. <laughs> I think he's hilarious, Kratos. You both are hilarious. Anything interesting, brother? Maybe. Story incompleted? Sweet. Enlightened one. In honor of the enlightened one, may his gift shine eternal. May his light serve as a beacon of harmony. May peace endure among the elves as we forever bask in his radiant glow. Nice. Glad we came over here. Um. Yeah, that's right. Here. Right here. Be able to get out. Don't mind if I do. Now we should be able to get out just fine. Oh my, look at all the pain. was actually here. The peace was fragile. Surely a bit of extra light in the desert isn't enough to make it last. Before I met Faye, I could not imagine a life of peace. After her death, in our travels to Jotunheim, I found peace on my own. It remains my responsibility to make it last. Perhaps the elves will find peace again one day, even without Freya's guidance. His presence continues to guide them, whether they realize it or not. Am I running around the desert on my feet right now instead of jumping on the back of the wolves? Yes, I am. Is that because I missed A some stuff? A light elf statue in the desert. Odd. Aye. Fair bet, this is the sanctum Big Deer spoke of in Van Eyn. Is it because I missed some stuff last time around and I try not try not to miss anything this time around? It, it could also be the case. Will I still miss something and have to come back later on? Absolutely. A lot of dead dark elves. What are these light elves? Whoa. What in <laughs> hell? Did that. And why are you guys not talking about it? Jewelry. Oh? Put it on one of my horns. Let's see if I can pull it off. <laughs> a really lovely piece of jewelry crafted by one of Freya's light elf supporters. It seems to be a bracelet hand formed to fit Freya's wrist. Which introduces the question why was it discarded? Was Freya so in. in inundated with gifts and jewelry that he simply couldn't find a place for it or did he perhaps wear it for a time only to cast it off possibly in anger or shame or some combination of the two will he sped back to Vanheim to stop for his wedding no. no why not Kratos have fun no pots pots are bad yeah you too there we go I feel better. I thought I heard a, uh, excellent. An elven library. An archive of knowledge. No sign of the light elves. For now. Maybe they've left for the really? day. And we can browse at our leisure. Well, that would be convenient, wouldn't it? 
go ahead and take all their stuff. <clears throat> Animation of temporal significance. This evening I find myself musing on the scent of a book. When the paper is fresh, it carries the gentle notes of plants it comes came from, light, floral, and with a touch of sweetness. As time passes, the pages age. They take on the brittle tan. A tear forms from any force stronger than the softest of touches. The scent hardens, crisp at the beginning, moving into the earthy musk left behind from dust, desert air, and insect feasts. To, the, to these ephemera, nearly as impermanent as ourselves, do we entrust the collective knowledge of our elvish histories in this this venture foolish. I can see the fleeting nature of existence, be it of flesh or scroll, yet I would not trade the pleasure of putting ink to page for all the treasures of Alfheim. Console. Another one of Diwali's diagrams. You spoke of his conscience. Aye. He saw that the Aesir would likely use his powerful weapons to cut down his fellow dwarves, so he ripped out his design pages and scattered them. And what of him? Well, the Allfather found out. He wasn't terribly pleased. Look here. Yes. Rules of the Sanctum. All visitors must abide strict, observe strict silence inside the library, even the vegetable hall passageway, grand hall, mezzanine, mezzanine, and upper circle. No books are to leave the premises for any reason under penalty of death. Transcriptions of any material within the library are expressly forbidden. Damage to library materials due to carelessness include increases, folds, annotations, and such like. Even accidental will not be tolerated. Comestibles, libations, and liquids of any kind are forbidden. Visitors must check in with the present library and before leaving the library. Failure to adhere to the rules will result in the immediate punishment to be determined by the present librarian. We're gonna have a boss fight called the Librarian. These texts alone are not enough to end the Elven War, but restricting their access only serves those who wish to prolong it. Taking a page out of Odin's book. Aye, quite the advantage for the Light Elves. I just feel like we're gonna have a All this librarian of their fight. ancestors, their shared history, poetry, just sitting here. The arbiters of knowledge. We are the caretakers of truth, the arbiters of knowledge, protectors of this repository of enlightenment that stretches back to our earliest writings. Ancient as the sands, it is our duty to protect our elven learnings and prevent the possible spread of it to those who cannot reconcile the wisdom found within these walls. The benighted masses cannot be trusted, cannot be expected to assimilate these truths. They lack the intellectual fortitude to absorb and accept the divisive nature of certain revelations. This suppression is not cruelty, nor is it an attempt at control. It is a mercy, pure and simple. Never forget that. What a waste. It is a waste. Let's take all their stuff. Remember, you don't leave the library without consulting the librarian. Just saying. We'll wait on that. That looks important. Oh, that's sick. Treasure hey. trove. Nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> Show me. Show me. The tower looks broken off at the top, maybe? Like a door at the bottom? <gasps> Interesting. Where we would have jumped up, right? Yeah. There's a chest on this side. Alright, let's take the middle thing. sealed but there is an inscription the consul think the spoke of an exile of the same name odds are he'd like a gander at that particular text i am sure nothing will try to stop us as we're leaving here <clears throat> there's not going to be anything at all that's not why there's almost dead bodies outside or nothing Got to check in. Swatha. Ah, it appears the librarian would like a word. Yep. Lata Thamborg. Sounds like she wants that journal back. No. Yeah. Steel strike. Okay, that's shenanigans. That was not a good start. 
not a good start. Please we stop that from happening. This could take a minute, as I learn her attack patterns, of course, as we have to always. Oh, right, Resurrection Stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't ran into another Brockers in a minute. Okay, so that is, that is... on you is not the easiest thing in the world. Use a shield strike. Oh, I am. Come back here. I need to heal. Up. Didn't do that much damage. God dang it, dude. Come on, Kratos. Off your back. This is not how we do it. Not how we do it. Turn on my fancy in here. Enough that time, wouldn't I? Bonk. Bonk. Stay near it. Can't even roll. If you get hit on that backswing, you can't roll again. Like I went to try to roll there and I just couldn't. So I don't know how I'm supposed to not get hit on the backswing like that. That's a little bit of shenanigans to me, but whatever. We try again. Back here. Running away. Annoying. Oh, I see. I think I understand now. Interrupted with that. That was close. Oh, 
Like, why were you not interrupted that time? You interrupted every other time. that entire time that pisses me off that one makes me mad i was not mad at that fight until i was blocking that whole attack obviously you can't block the red one at the end but i was blocking that oh i was so blocking <gasps> No, I'm not okay. I'm actually getting really pissed off. Some of these attacks are coming way faster than I expect them to. Half the time she gets stunned by the stupid arrows, half the time she doesn't. Oh. Shield strike now. No. I don't think so. Okay, that all sucked. That didn't hurt. Did not hurt. I lied. Blocking, still blocking, blocking that whole fucking time. Oh, I'm getting pissed. I know how to block the stupid attack. Why is it not getting blocked? What am I doing wrong? Use a shield, right, brother. Oh, look. Just as easy as blocked it right there. In there. Like, obviously, I know how to block the stupid attack. Yes, I 
So that leap right there, I wasn't actually even holding block, so I don't know how I blocked that one. <laughs> I'm getting pissed off. Yeah, don't even know how I blocked that one. Wasn't holding block. So entirely unsure how that one got blocked, but whatever, we'll take it. Not be sure. I'll be doing this. You wanna you, you wanna okay? pull out your fucking shield? God damn! Sometimes, man. I do not understand. Like, I know how to block it perfectly, like, every freaking time. I'm about to lose my mind on this fight. I, I'm too tired. I'm still... This is the second episode I recorded after work. It's 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> I just need to relax. Sorry for tilting. Relax. Use a shield strike! <laughs> Seriously. That hit me. Come on, oh, oh, shit yeah. just happened! Alright. Come on now. You better, damn it. God, you can have distance it. I'm dead. Or not. Done with this, just because I'm gonna be so angry. This, is, this time it's a test because I noticed something last time. I blocked the first, I blocked the first thing, and it uh, and I was able to roll out of the way of the second one before. I got a chance to use, use it, a shield so strike. Oh, close. Oh, what? Come on now. I did so good there with that parry. Dude, I can't even get to her like that. Like, come on now. Like, I can't even get up to her fast enough. Oh, talk about just making me angry, dude. And the more angry I get, the worse I'm going to end up playing. That's not true. I don't play worse when I'm angry, I don't think. Maybe I do, but I don't think I do. Use a 
shield strike, brother. Whatever. What do you want me to do? Like, how close do you want me to get? Come on, Kratos, get up. I'm about to sling this controller across the room. Not even kidding. Not even kidding. I'm about to sling this fucking thing across the room. hit by that because I freaking out of goddamn range and I've already started this stupid Use a shield strike, bro. <laughs> Fuck off. Kratos, we need you. <laughs> For the rest of this episode, I'm probably going to be a little bit quiet because I'm getting too pissed off to talk and I don't care. I'm just going to keep saying bad words over and over again and it's going to make me even more angry. I'm just gonna chill. Okay, 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 cool. Okay, 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 cool, okay, okay, cool. Use a shield strike, brother. so bad I'm so tired Go! 
Pissed off, it's nearly 6 a.m. now. Shield strike now! Every time that one hits me, every time I don't, I can't, I can't. I'm, I'm too tired to dodge that fast. <laughs> I'm too tired to dodge that fast. It's too fast. I don't know where it'll save. I'll take a break. So I'll finish it. Shield strike. An hour long episode, it becomes an hour long episode. <laughs> Friends, I promise. Take it off, man. You got this. But I, I'm trying to use my rage. Like I'm literally touching it. Come on. I'm literally spamming the heck out of that. I'm spamming the heck out of that rage, man. And it just it, it didn't go off. Great, great, wonderful. That's what I always love. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Good fight, but so frustrating when you're as tired as I am right now. I'm impressed. Thought you were going to end her. When last we traveled here, after Fay passed, I killed an elf of great importance. The ramifications were dire for his people. I do not wish to make the same mistake twice. Good freaking job. The Maven. The vigilant steward of the Alfheim Library, our ally in Vanaheim, Bigbeard told us the steward comes from a long line of elves who follow the same path, librarians. A library exists to hold and share knowledge, to hide this away, and claim it would destroy the light elves from within, is to lack faith in the people who would most benefit from it. That's going to do it for this episode, guys. Sorry for the rage. I'm going to bed. See you all in the next one. Peace. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. If you've got anything to say, go to the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button and the bell. If you want to see more, check out this video down here. Thank you so much for watching. Peace!